Okay. Number talks are when we have a discussion about mental math in order to help us understand our strategies, right? So they're short discussions about a mental math problem. And during number talks, we share our solutions and explain to each other how we solve different mental math problems. So it's a way for you to share your own strategy and also hear someone else's strategy and the way they solve the problem. So if you think about yesterday, we talked about why do we have discussions on Canvas? Same reasons for number talks. It helps us learn from each other and it helps you develop some strategies you may or may not have had in the past, right? So mental math, raise your hand, give us a little hand raise if you can share with us what mental math means when we say mental math. Eric, did you raise your hand? Go ahead, Eric, unmute yourself and tell us, what does mental math mean? So you gotta click unmute. There you go. I just, um, I don't know. Um, okay, I mental math is number talks? So number talks is a form of mental math, yep. So. Number talks is when we discuss how we solved a mental math problem. Does anybody know what a mental math problem is? What it means when we say it's mental math. Thank you for sharing, Eric. You can go ahead and mute yourself again. Okay. Michael, what does it mean when we say it's something is mental math? I think mental math means we're going to be using math all the time. So we will be using math a lot. That word mental means something to do with your brain, right? So when we talk about mental, it means something to do with your brain. So what might it mean if we were doing mental math? Anybody else? CJ. Something you can do in your head without using pieces of paper. Yeah, so mental math is math you can do in your head. You don't use, you don't write down the problem or do a drawing or make a model or anything like that. You just solve the problem in your head. So mental math means in your head, all right? And so why are number talks important? Well, number talks help you guys learn, like we said, learn from each other. And by listening to classmates, you guys learn strategies and share your own thinking. And so one of the strongest things, tools you have in math and one of the best things you can do is learn new strategies from other people. And sometimes your teacher, like I can give you all the strategies in the world, but sometimes it just helps you to hear from someone else who's a student how they did it. And it helps you understand what you can do to solve that problem a little bit better. So number talks are important because it gives you a wider range of strategies when you go to solve math problems on your own where you can hear from others. So the expectations during number talks. All right, I wanna go through these and I wanna have people read them one by one. And so we have a clear expectation of what those, those um, expectations are. Can somebody read the first one for me? You can just unmute yourself and start reading. Oh, I do it. Solve the problem mentally in your head. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. You solve the problem mentally in your head. So you're not writing anything down on paper when you solve the mental math problem. It is all completely in your head. Okay. Um, the second one, can you read it for me? A seal. Can you read the second one? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, on, yeah, I'm muted. A seal, go ahead and read the uh, second one where it says share answers. Uh, share answers after others have time, have had time to think, solve the problem, we solve math. Uh, problems at our own speed. Some strategies take a little bit longer. Thank you. Right. So what I mean by that is, especially with the chat box on here, like if you, if I give you a problem and you solve it in your head, don't type the answer into the chat box. Don't say it out loud on the microphone because we want to give everybody a chance to try to solve it. Math is one thing, just like reading, we all do things at different speeds. Some people are super fast at math. Some people need more time. That doesn't mean that person can't get the answer right. It just means they might need a little bit longer. So make sure you're giving the other people time to think through and you're not saying the answer out loud too quickly. Cynthia, can you read the next one that says share our strategies? Share our strategies with, with clear, complete sentences and math language. Yeah, so we're gonna try to be very clear 
speaking complete sentences. And we're going to try, I know it's still early in the year, but we're going to try to use math language. So instead of just saying like, I put the two numbers together, we might say I added the numbers and then say the two numbers that you added. All right. Um, I will read the next one. Allow someone to finish explaining their strategy. So sometimes we may get different answers and I will notate or I'll write what the people's answers are and how they solve them. And so it's important that you don't jump in the middle of somebody and talk over them and you let them finish explaining what that strategy was. And Ania, could you unmute yourself and read the last one, please? Respect the strategies and results of others. We all make mistakes sometimes. Thank you, Ania. So what I mean by that is there may be some times where I ask you to solve a problem and there's three different people and they all got a different answer. Well, they're not all three correct, right? So instead of saying, nope, you're wrong, you're wrong, that's wrong. We're gonna take a minute, figure out where a mistake may have been made and then give that person an opportunity to change their thinking politely. Okay, so we're gonna be respectful of some people may not get the answer right the first time and that's okay, we all mess things up. I misspelled the word courageous earlier when I was showing you an example in reading, right? And I went back through and realized I had made a mistake and fixed it. So stuff happens. And if somebody's the answer is different than yours, we're gonna be respectful of that and work together to help find out the, the strategy and the correct answer. So we're gonna try a number talk, all right? So I'm actually gonna turn off my screen share. We're gonna do our own one for 321 plus 267. So I'm gonna stop my screen sharing. If you could please put your computer, um, I'm actually gonna have you pin my video. So click on my name for this one. So my video is the largest one. So you should see big in the middle of your screen. You should see my, maybe, my whiteboard. So I'm gonna give you just a minute, okay? I want you to take a minute in your head and I want you to try to solve the problem. 321 plus 267, all right? This may be a little bit big of a problem, but I want you to try to do it. 321 plus 267, I'm gonna give you one or two minutes. When you think you've got it, just give me a little thumbs up on your screen so I know that you are done and you're ready to possibly share your answer. All right, so one or two minutes, go. Remember, guys, we're not typing answers into the chat box. We're leaving, we're leaving the chat box blanks because we want, I want to give people an opportunity to think on their own, okay? So leave the chat box blank and you will get a chance to share here in just a minute. I did it. I got it. Got it. I know the answer. I know the answer. So wait, we're going to keep yourself muted just for a little bit, Eric, and then in a minute we'll let you share your strategy, okay? Okay. Thank you. Hug. Okay, I'll wait. Huh? All right, so let's take a minute and I'm going to let Eric go ahead and unmute yourself. I don't want you to tell me what you, how you got it yet, but I just want you to tell me what you got as an answer. 321 plus 267 equals 588. So we got 588 is one answer. Did anybody else get a different answer? If you got a different answer, raise your hand for me. Thank you, Eric. We will come back to you to find out how you got it. Did anybody else get a different answer than 588? So we all, I don't see any hands. So we all got 588? No. Asil, you have a different answer. Asil, what did you get? So Asil got 542. All right. Did anybody else get a different answer besides 588 and 542? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So I'm going to let Eric, go ahead, Eric, and unmute, unmute yourself again. And I'm going to have you explain to us what you did in your head to get 
588. So I'm going to write your name above it so we know how you got it. Whenever you're ready, tell me what you did. Okay, I, okay. So 300 plus, uh, 300 plus 2 equals 500. Then 2 plus 6 equals 20, 20 plus 60 equals 80. And 1 plus 7 equals 8. And that is how I got it. Did you, did you add your 500 plus 80 plus 8 together? Yes. Okay. So that's how Eric got 588. Yep. Somebody else who got 588. Eric, I'm going to go ahead and mute you again. Thank you for sharing. Did okay. Somebody else who got 588 do it a different way in their head. Ania, can you go ahead and unmute yourself? And I will let you share with us how you got your answer. I added up the, the ones and the hundreds and the tens together and um, step by step, step tell by me what you did. First I I did the ones place. Um, did you imagine them like did you imagine it set up like this? Yes. Up and down like this, and then first you did the ones place? Yes. Okay. So you, what did you do first? I did seven plus one, and then, which equaled eight. And then I did the tens place, which equaled eight again. And then I did the hundreds, which equaled nine, five, I mean. Okay, so Ania did it that way. Asil, at this time, Asil, do you, Still think the answer is 542, or would you like to change it? I feel you're muted still. Sorry. Oh, I think I got confused because I thought that was a two. Oh, okay. That was six. I got it. So we're going to cross this out. We all agree that 588 is the answer, right? So show me, did anybody else do, sorry, before we do this, did anybody else do a different way that's different than Eric or Asil? Or Ania, sorry. Michael, all right, I'm going to let you share yours, Michael. Go ahead and unmute yourself and tell us how you did solve it. I'm going to move my whiteboard over a little bit here. First, I did five, I mean, 321 plus 267. Okay, so how, well, how did you, did you line it up like Ania did? No, first I added 300 plus 200. So you did it like Eric did, then 20 plus 60? No, then I did 21, then I added to 6 and I got 81. Oh, okay, so you did, hang on, sorry, let me confirm. So you did 300? Plus 200 equals 500. Mm -hmm. 21 plus 60 equals 81. Mm -hmm. Then I added to 7. Then I added to 7 at the end and I got 588. Got it. Okay. Cool. Thank you for sharing. All right. I'm going to pick my computer up and go back over to my desk. So the symbol I like to use, the hand signal I like to use, on this is me too for me too is if you did it the same way as somebody else you go like this like me like to show that like yeah that person i did the same so i'm going to ask you you can go ahead and click on gallery view you don't have to be just on just me there so if you did it the way eric did so if you did 500 plus 200 20 plus 60 and one plus seven show me me too but you did it the way eric did so i see a couple people cool that's one of my good strategies i like to use if you did it like Ania did, where you imagined one on top and one on the bottom and you added each place, ones place, tens place, and hundreds place, show me me too. And if you did it like Michael did, where he did, broke it up into different pieces and added those all together, show me me too, like you did it like Michael. Cool. So we had a lot of, see, we had a variety of strategies used. And so maybe now one person who did it up and down wants to try it a different way next time. Or somebody who um, used Eric's strategy this, this time through might want to go through and do it vertically 
and do the algorithm like Ania pictured it in her head, right? So we have a variety of math strategies that we can use. So now it's your turn. So I'm gonna share my screen again, and I'm gonna show you what your job is going to be on Canvas today once we log off. So when we log off, I'm trying to get it for this one. So we go to Canvas. Guess what I'm gonna remember to do this time? I'm gonna remember to go home and I'm gonna to remember to click on student view so we don't have to go back out of it again. So I'm on, this is student view is what it looks like for you. You're gonna click on Wednesday. You're gonna click on math. You're gonna click on today's math assignment. And so it says, now that we have learned or reviewed what number talks are, you should be caught up on how to share your thinking. Solve the problem below mentally then upload a video of you explaining how you solved it. So you can see it's down here under Ms. Weibel's bitmoji. It says 57 minus 32. So just like in the past, you're gonna think in your head how to solve it. You're gonna hit submit assignment. And then you're gonna record a video of how you would, in explaining how you solved 57 minus 32 and what your answer was, okay? Give me a thumbs up on your screen if you understand what your job is. Okay, good deal. So assignments, click on that math, today's math assignment, and you're gonna record a video. Before we go, excuse me, <coughs> I have a couple people who I'm gonna stay on and talk, chat with about FMPs this afternoon. I'm gonna stop recording.